that was supposed to be destroyed and just used in the movie came to exist to build another car. Two and a half years in the making, thousands of hours of work, uh, dreams, heartaches, overcoming adversity, and helping launch jobs and careers for students. Well, that's exactly why I created Genius Garage. And I think the proof is in the pudding. Well, today is the end of the road for the Genus Garage Like and Hypersport build, and we're gonna do a fun build montage, all the way from the beginning with Ed Bolian at VinWiki, to the track day, and all the way to the end of Cars and Coffee with Detroit, and fun along the way for the students. But in my hand is a very cool envelope, DHL, speedy delivery from Dubai. Hmm. Well, you're gonna have to come back next week. We're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna drop the biggest bombshell ever with this car. So I think you guys are gonna be excited, but today, let's just have fun. Roll it! Looks like something we could take across the country. So this car was built to do one thing, and that was to be fired out of the nose of a fake airplane. We are going to completely obliterate to make something even better. job again after this. <laughs> See you guys next time. We're going to get some body work off of the teaser, but I'd like to show you what's going on with the chassis. We're working on for the chassis. And Let's go this way. Now this is just the shell and... Wait, hold up. It's got to go a little bit. All we just had to do was move the shell. Now this is just the outside shell, but this is going to give you guys Oh, that's 20 gauge. We'll show you the last bit here. So we're actually going to end up leaving the parts here and just the uh, dub to come out for the door to latch on. This is the front dash panel. That part was the fun of just getting started. It went from a concept with Ed and Ben Wiki, moving along, we got the Porsche Boxster platform, had our fun and donuts, but even when you stretch the chassis and do the basic structure you need, and pairing the original Porsche bulkhead and structures, which were used in the roof CTR3, that of course was used to build the Lycan Hypersports, so we were really close. We got a long way but the devil's in the details. And now engineering it so all these body panels and everything becomes doors and open up and it starts becoming a real car is where it got difficult. That actually works, right? <laughs> it's kind of like a super leger like hypersport. How's it fitting? It's fitting. Awesome. All right, can I throw things like this? Yeah. To, to Tyler here. Dude. Battery up originally. Be accessible underneath the pan so you can about this. Eight headers with no pedaling like hers, but of exhaust and of course building a paper car. Cameron here is going to be taking off the arena.
you some of the details they've worked on and have engineered. These are the stock radiator and air conditioning parts. Of the Like that, so you have to find what is the best balance between the hood needs to be able to hinge at the front of the glass and positive monitor. It's pretty floppy. It's pretty floppy. Should we push the uh, the roof section forward by the front amber section for the Okay, very good. And I like in hypersport build, uh, uh, actually. Yeah. Yep. yeah Give yeah. for a little light. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed seeing a like and a where it's at. Just kind of want to do off the cuff when the structure of the rear happens and it's mounted then that's the moment all this stuff can get really hugely refined. Well guys, that got the car 80% of the way there and it was a car, it had doors, panels were on it, windshield, tail lights, and almost working headlights at this point, and an exhaust system. But it was time to make it run again and test what platform this was, see how balanced it was, see how good the coilover shocks were and how well it's been set up with regard to the suspension. Make sure the chassis is in order. So to do that, there's no place like the track. And for us, it was mid-Ohio sports car course. We'll see how it goes. We should probably drive the light. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at those doors. The cars do fly. Let's go. Oh, Phillips head and some star bits. Be useful. Oh, your ships are broke, huh? Okay. Keep the steering wheel shallow. We just push it. I want to go home knowing we really did as well as we possibly could have. Z06 C7. Should be fast. We're gonna check it over, see if we can't make it a little faster today, and get it home in one piece. Thanks it up. Pressing pretty fast. Nothing rattled, nothing came loose. Well guys, you know I'm a racer, and students that build a car this cool are gonna be competitive. So, going to mid-Ohio and frankly wiping the track with all the other cars there uh, felt really good. It was the first time out, so it was just a test, so we were being really mindful, but the car didn't miss a beat. It was basically perfect, and we just did a couple little tweaks to the dampening on the suspension, and it was balanced beautifully. And it shows, that's what we love, the track. We wanna go fast, so we're really happy with the platform and uh, seeing what it did against production-based fast cars, Corvettes, Porsches, etc. Bye-bye. But the real hard stuff was to come. We had built a worthwhile, formidable, and nicely engineered car for the track, but for it really to be a hypercar, supercar, it's gotta be beautiful. So, thousands of hours of work and lots of heartaches and enough stress that it made me vomit one winter day was yet to come. But watch this thing transform into the jewel that it is today. Thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, you know, hopefully the next episode of our uh, Lycan saga will be a little bit more put together. Why are our diamonds not here yet? Ice out of an ice tray. I mean, they just explode with light. Oh. 
That looks evil. Whoa. Wow, that looks gorgeous, man. It's because this is all identical to the original like in Hypersports. Man, listen to him hum. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to paint this. Trip to Advanced Collision Incorporated here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Check this, look, look out here. Look, look, look at the lichen. Patch those holes, make the gaps correct. For sure. I'm trying to clean it up, make them crisp. Look at this! Honestly, I don't think anybody's gonna believe this. That's the car, that's the car. South American wealthy drug lord or some Chinese industrialist that's gonna ax us now. We're all dead when this airs. seeing the railroad tracks. But it's also kind of special seeing this finish here in the United States at a place that was our center of industry. And of course, the eclipse from the very first Fast and Furious. Kind of cool to see those bookend OG cars from Fast and Furious. But this build from Genus Garage is every bit as beautiful as I think you're gonna see. The paint is exquisite, the finish is exquisite. Well, that's exactly why I created Genius Garage. And I think the proof is in the pudding. So I hope this means more to you all watching than just a shiny car <laughs> and an extra like and no one thought would come to be. That was the year we tested it in mid-Ohio on the track and it was perfect. The platform was awesome and well balanced. Even maybe a little bit better balanced than the original cars, which I was very privileged to get to drive in Dubai on the Autodrome as well as the Jebel J Mountains. And those cars are fantastic. It was supposed to be destroyed and just used in the movie came to exist to build another car. I think all the Vin Wiki watchers will know, history and stories are what make cars really, really cool. Because what's a car without an awesome story? So, anyway guys, I hope you're enjoying seeing this. It's been a, a neat journey. I hope that the sale of this will go a long way to building that program. Guys, that's the build. Two and a half years in the making, thousands of hours of work, uh, dreams, heartaches, overcoming adversity, and helping launch jobs and careers for students. But I hope you guys come back next week. It's gonna be a fun video, some driving, massive bombshell, and you're gonna find out what is in this fancy pants speedy delivery DHL from Dubai. <laughs> but it's gonna be exciting, so you gotta come back for the last one, but I hope you had fun today. Thank you for watching. Obviously, check out Genius Garage. Um, naturally, we work with some really cool Zoomy equipment, but the truth of the matter is, I don't get paid, the other board of directors get paid, and nobody that helps a Genius Garage gets paid uh, because we're trying to build something genuine and serious here. 
Um, so anything you all do to support and help out Genius Garage, whether it's donating, um, volunteering your time like the Myers at Legacy Autosport have been in helping, that helps build a stronger tomorrow and future. So, you know, we can all sit around and complain that the American educational system isn't good enough and nobody cares and no young people care about cars and nobody works with their hands anymore. Or we could do something about it. I chose to do something about it now over nine years ago. And um, I can't do it without all the people out there that small or large have made it happen. So I get to be the face and maybe the spearhead of the movement, but it's taken a lot of people to really care and make this happen and help change a lot of students' lives and help them grow. I think it matters, otherwise I still wouldn't be here, um, but I hope you think it matters too, because um, frankly, we can use your help. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this build. Um, and I'm really happy that my life took a weird turn <laughs> in terms of being a YouTuber because it's me being a YouTuber and doing car adventures and the ability to showcase and talk about Genius Garage that's made the nonprofit be able to have the exposure to survive. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys subscribe and see you next week. Find out what's in the envelope. <laughs> yes, bombshell, you don't know.